So far, we have been using MongoDB shell to execute our MongoDB commands. But MongoDB also provides a GUI application which we can use for writing and executing MongoDB commands. And this GUI application is called as MongoDB Compass. So in this lecture, let's go ahead and let's download and install MongoDB Compass and let's see how we can use it for writing and executing our MongoDB commands. To do that, let's go to MongoDB website. So here I'm in the MongoDB website. From here, you can go to this products link and here you can see tools. And from the tools, we want to download MongoDB Compass. So you can click on this link and it will take us to the download page. Here, let's click on this download now button. Okay, so from here we can download MongoDB Compass. So this is the version of the MongoDB Compass which we are going to download and install. Here you can see the platform is selected as Windows 64 bit. And for this platform, the package which we are going to download is exe. But here, instead of downloading the exe package, I want to download the MSI package, the Microsoft installer package. And to do that, from this drop down, we can select this package, Windows 64 bit MSI. If I select this one, you will notice that the package has changed to MSI. Let's go ahead and let's download this package. So here, it is downloading MongoDB Compass. So the download is complete now. Once the download is complete, double click on this MSI package which we have downloaded. It will open the installation window. In the first screen, click next. Then on the second screen, you can see where this MongoDB Compass will be installed. So this is the path where the MongoDB Compass will be installed. Okay, I will keep the default path here but if you want you can also change the path then you can click on this next button and then you can click on this install button so it will start installing mongodb compass on your local machine so the installation is complete now click on this finish button and now let's go ahead and let's open mongodb compass for that in the search bar type compass and here you can see we have this MongoDB Compass app. Click on that. So it has opened the MongoDB Compass app. Just click on the start button here. And on this screen, you can create a new connection. Here you can see the connection string. And if you remember, this connection string is for the local installation of the MongoDB server. If your MongoDB database is hosted on some remote server, in that case, you can provide the connection string for that remote server here. But here, using this MongoDB Compass, we want to connect to our local installation of the MongoDB server. So for the local installation, the connection string is localhost colon and it is always hosted at this port number 27017. Now you might ask, how does MongoDB Compass know that we have a MongoDB server installed on our machine and it is running on this URL, this localhost colon, this port number. Well, if you remember, when we installed MongoDB server on this local machine, there we selected create MongoDB as a service checkbox. And because of that, it created a service which is running in the background. If you want to see that service, you can open services. For that, in the search bar, you can type services. Let's open that. And here, if I type M, here you can see we have this MongoDB server. So this server is running. And this is basically the service which we created while installing the MongoDB server. And since this service is running in the background, here MongoDB Compass knows that there is a local installation of the MongoDB server which is running on this machine. Now, if you had not selected create MongoDB as a service checkbox during the installation, in that case, you will have to start the MongoDB service manually. And to do that, you can open command prompt. For that, in the search bar, you can type CMD and open it in administrator mode and there you can run this command mongod and when you press enter it will start mongodb process in the background and as long as this process is running your mongodb server will be accessible and mongodb compass will be able to identify the connection string okay but in our case since we have mongodb process running as a service we don't need to run this mongodb again so i can go ahead and i can close it 
and now we have our connection string here so we can go ahead and we can click on this connect button and it will connect this mongodb compass to the local installation of the mongodb server okay let me click on this connect button so now we are connected to the mongodb server which is installed on this local machine and there you can see that we have these four databases so we have this sample db database which we have been working so far using mongodb shell and if i expand this sample db database here you can see all the collections which we have inside this sample db database let's open this customer collection and here you can see all the documents which we have inside this customer collection so in the last lecture we added these five documents with these customers and you can see those five documents here now if you want to insert a new document in a collection using mongodb compass you can go to this add data and from there you have two options either you can import a file with some json data in it or you can insert a document using the gui so here i will click on this insert document option it will open this window and inside this window you can specify the document which you want to insert so here you can go ahead and you can add your own fields we already have this underscore id field here let's go ahead and let's add one name field and let's say name is maybe jonas okay then let's add an age field let's say age is maybe 28 and let's also add a gender field and let's say gender is male okay and let's click on this insert button and if we scroll down that new document should be inserted here in the customers collection okay so this is how you can insert a document using mongodb compass now if you want you can also delete a document for example if you want to delete this document you can see this delete option here so when you click on that delete option down you have to select whether you really want to delete the document or you want to cancel the operation if you want to cancel the operation if you don't want to delete the document you can click on this cancel button or else if you really want to delete the document you can click on this delete button so in that case that document will be deleted from the collection in the same way if you want to update a document in that case for that document you will see this edit button when you click on that edit button you can go ahead and you can edit any field so here instead of john let's say i want to name it as john s so when you click here you will see a cursor you can move that cursor i want to add a space and then i want to add s okay in the same way if you want to edit the age then here you can edit that so let's say we want to change the age to maybe 34 and in this way you can edit other fields as well after that you can click on this update button to update the document okay so now you can see for this document the name has been changed to jonas and the age has been changed to 34 in the same way you can also query the collection and to query the collection you can write your querying command here okay so here in this text box you need to specify the filter which you want to use so for the filter again you can specify a set of curly braces in there let's say we want to filter all those documents where is married is true so you can specify is married and let's say we want to filter all those documents where is married is true if i click on this find button now we should see only those documents in the result where the is married is true okay so in this way we can use mongodb compass which is a gui application for doing different types of CRUD operations so here we don't need to write the mongodb commands here we can use the gui to perform CRUD operations all right so this was a brief overview of what mongodb compass is and how we can use it you can also use mongodb compass for aggregation frameworks for defining your schemas for checking indexes on your collection and many more things it's not like mongodb compass can only be used for performing crud operations it can be used to do everything which can be done using mongodb shell the only difference is in the mongodb shell you need to write mongodb commands but here you can use different ui components to perform different operations which you can do in mongodb all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day